Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound NH4C2H3O2. Now, you might not say, or you might say actually, how is this ionic, right? Shouldn't ionic compounds have metals in them? Technically, nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, they're all nonmetals. But go with your polyatomics, right? Remember, polyatomics are never on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So I just wrote down the two that we can spot out. Usually you're going to spot out the polyatomics. This comes from practice of memorizing them. Ammonium is always NH4 with the plus one charge. And that one is right here. Here's NH4. So I have a polyatomic there. And then C2H3O2. Oh, that's another polyatomic. Now, it usually goes by C2H3O2, or it can go by CH3COO. They're the same thing. And that's the polyatomic called acetate. So I have another polyatomic here. And that's how it's ionic. If you have two polyatomics interacting with each other, that's an ionic comp compound because they have charges. So one's positive and one's negative, and that's why it's ionic. So let's name it out. Polyatomic ions are very easy to name because those names, they always stay the same. So NH4 is just ammonium. So I'm just going to write ammonium. And then the uh, C2H3O2, that's always acetate, so that doesn't change. And since we do not have a metal here, right, we don't have to do, you know, Roman numerals, right? We only use Roman numerals for charges of the metal. But since we don't have a metal, we're done. So this looked a little scary, but it wasn't. Two polyatomics, that's it. So NH4C2H3O2 is just ammonium acetate. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, press the subscribe button, okay? We're almost at 12,000 subscribers. That's crazy. And it's all possible because of you guys. So your fate is in our hands. Thank you so much. Tell your friends about us. All right, spread the word. And I'll see you in the next lessons. Okay, bye-bye.